Hi everyone, I've got home from the Sandy Creek walk loop and I didn't really have a good description on the maps that I showed you along the walk of the actual walks themselves, the blue walk um, loop um, which is 2.9 kilometres, the girls walk loop which is the red loop at 2.2 kilometres and the Sandy Creek walk that I went on um, is the is basically the yellow loop and that was 2.4 kilometers so also had a look at some maps um, just to you know inform you that the um, Sandy Creek um, runs into the Dora Creek and they run into Lake Macquarie and uh, I just mentioned that there and I um, really didn't realize that there was um the the two different um rivers that ran around the Avondale campus and but it was at the T intersection that I showed you and I did say that where the M1 was on the right hand side the M1 being the uh, motorway one that comes up from um Sydney so um that yeah that's basically uh the walk and it was um fantastic helping me lose weight um and something i haven't done before and you know i think it's uh, great just to get out and discover new things and um you know thanks for watching Definitely bouncing this bridge. See it bouncing. I'll have to give you another view around here. Isn't it beautiful? How fantastic, out to some nice bushland and then on a really lovely walk. So this is a nice walk and just looks like really a bit of farmland and that's the old wheat bix factory over there and that bridge that we just came over was I think built by the um, the wheat bix company isn't it beautiful so this is Dora Creek which runs into Lake Macquarie Okay, so I found out this bridge was purpose-built in 1934. The spring swing bridge was designed by the manager at the factory. It was built for workers at the plant, so they didn't have to row or swim across Dora Creek to get to work. If you lived on the south side of the bank, you could row, swim, or go the long way around to go to work at the Wheat Bix factory. Unfortunately, the row boats often went missing so the factory decided to fund the bridge and solve all these issues. And there's the photo of the Wheat Bix factory, the old Wheat Bix factory. So here's a better shot of the Wheat Bix factory and I'm assuming that the wheat would have been stored in those big silos. <laughs> walk 
way that I just showed you. So this is uh, coming up through Dora Creek. And this is an intersection. So on the right hand side we have, I believe it's the M1. And then the river goes down this way. And I'm just going to continue my walk down here. So pretty here. So basically I've just come from over the other side of that paddock. So you've got the river runs all along the tree line and the paddock comes right up to here. So I've come 1.79 kilometers of the 2.4 kilometer walk and now I'm up there you can see the uh, round marker and going back down south and that'll take me back to the bridge. So we have another interesting sign over here. Um, so this is the end of this paddock that I just went down. But as you can see, beware snake season. <laughs> so, um, but it is very late in the afternoon. It's actually been showering and um, I don't think the snakes are definitely coming out today. Here is a nice little bridge that I'm just about to go across. I love bridges. Look at this. Bridges and water. See, it's raining now. Okay, so I've just come up this big, huge hill and walked around the track, and then all of a sudden I was on the next walk. So I asked somebody, and they told us to come up this way. And it's actually taken us through the uni, so um, I'm not sure. I think it's up here we go. Okay, so here we have a real close up of the old wheat mix factory. There's a car down there. I wonder what they use it for now. Okay, so we've just walked back from the Wheat Bix factory, went a little bit too far um, and it's, uh, they've said no access through the gate there to the swing bridge um, but I believe this is the right way which is near the tennis courts and the uh, campus P7 parking area um, because I can see those uh, cows <laughs> down in the background which is what we saw on um, entry to the walk so need to get over there somehow so I I believe we're on the right track not a hundred percent sure at this stage okay so here's the other sign and we're nearly there I am on the right track but honestly we spoke to a walker and it really is not signed at all along the walk so you don't even know when you're on to the next track um, so I think they should do that a little bit better but we got some help and then put on the walking on the navman and we're on our way. Just seems a bit odd when you start going through the campus and then the car parks and everything else. But it's been a beautiful walk and um, that's it for me.